Tekken R&D Exposition was organized on 7th and 8th October by the Institute Technical Council in collaboration with the Academic Council. This exposition provided a platform for the technical bodies of the Institute to showcase their innovative ideas and projects. IDSP projects and the research work done by the students were also on display. The event witnessed a large audience constituted mainly by IIT Bombay students, faculty and visiting alumni. Let's take a look at some of the key attractions of the event. Foldable microscope, it was made by the co-founder of MIT Labs, Dr. Tune. And I'll be running the presentation. In that, we have the just two pieces of paper folding and there is a borosilicate ball which acts as a lens, a SMD, LED and a micro switch uh, which is like very small, like, like this. And the LED is so small that uh, it's even it's like this in my in my in my in my hand. It can't even be seen. I don't know how to show it. If it can be focused or not. And in 20 minutes time, I was able to see the plant cells. Full stop. I just got two cardboard pieces, right? Things worth one or two dollars, which is 140 rupees. And flat 20 minutes time, the students were able to take a leaf from outside, and I saw the plant cells. Full stop. And then we have a we had a hand pump. So like we are uh, running this workshop for the benefit of uh, IIT Bombay students. Uh, hello, my name is Rochelle Gerard. I am from the IT Bombay Racing team and uh, we are a team that essentially builds electric vehicles. This is what you see behind us is Orca. Orca is our fifth model and currently we are in progress of building our latest model and it's being tested right now as we speak. So the goal of IT Bombay Racing is essentially to revolutionize electric mobility in India. We hope to develop students in such a way that after they leave in state, they are able to move into this uh, industry of electric mobility and actually develop new new technologies. So we go to the competition called Formula Student UK, which happens in Silverstone Circuit, Silverstone Circuit in UK. And um, so, yeah, this is this would be the sixth time we are going there. So I'll tell you a bit about some interesting facts about the car behind me. It can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.4 seconds, and has a top speed of 150 kilometers per hour. So the acceleration that I just quoted right now is faster than most commercial sports vehicles and uh, the weight of the car is extremely light, it's just around 240 kgs. If you look at a commercial vehicle, it's, it's more than a ton, so yeah. Um, another special feature about our car is we have carbon fiber bodyworks, which is quite rare in an Indian team. Um, so yeah, these are special features about the car. So Formula Student UK is an international competition where teams from all around the world compete, primarily from Europe. Uh, there are two types of events which take place in Formula Student UK. There are dynamic events such as the endurance event and the autocross event. The endurance event is essentially 22 kilometers straight where the car has to run 22 kilometers on just one charge. Then there's an acceleration event where essentially all you do is run your car on a straight track as fast as you can. There are of course static events where experts from the motorsport industry, from the Formula 1 motorsport industry judge us on aspects of our car like the cost of the car, the design the technologies implemented in the car, the business plan that would be implemented if the car were to be manufactured on a mass scale and things like that. So essentially we just, it's not just a car that we build but we have to look at the holistic picture and uh, so it's it's a competition that that pushes you to its limits. We are team AUV IID Bombay, we are a team of 40 people who design the Matsya vehicles. This is the Matsya 4.0 and this is the Matsya 5.0 which is in the testing period. Now, what is this Matsya? This is the autonomous underwater vehicle which is designed to perform real life missions. Now, what are the real life missions involved? The real life tasks which are given in the competition called RoboSub which is held in San Diego every year in which we participate. This vehicle came second last year. So, this uh, vehicle can perform torpedo shooting, it can grip objects over here, then it can, uh, it can be used to drop markers and it can even uh, locate sound sources. So now how do we do this? This is the mechanical framework, the elect stack is embedded inside the main hull and the software which we, uh, uh, which we use a 3.0 USB to plug in all the software which the vehicle requires. Now we do the basic coding in C++ and Python and use Gazebo software for simulation purposes. This uh, software is a st uh, for vertical stack integration It is involved in the software division which uses GPIO boards and the uh, ESC boards and well, as well as the power board. This uh, It involves one single board computer with i7 processor which powers all the processing of this mammoth vehicle. 
So the competitions in which we take part. We take part in the International RoboSub competition which is held in San Diego, USA in which we came second last year and we were the finalists this year. And another competition which we started last year was NIOT in which we were first in the country. So this is Yumesh Marshavala Innovation Sales Board. It, can, it is designed for ASME Student Design Competition 2017. So this year's problem statement is the board should be able to perform five different sets of tasks. For the set of task is sprinting, going in a straight line for 10 meters and coming back. The second set of task is to lift a weight, so it can lift weight up of 80 kg up to 130 centimeter. Third task is to climb stairs, it can climb three stairs very quickly. Fourth task is hitting, throwing a ball, tennis ball, so there is a part of throwing the ball and it can throw, it can throw a tennis ball up to 40 meters of range. And the fifth part is hitting a golf ball, so it can hit a golf ball from ground up till a distance of 30 meters. So this was all designed by a team, team of 10 members for the competition. So we won at the Asia Pacific level of the competition. We came first among 10 teams and now we are going to compete in Tampa, Florida, USA among the top teams of the world with US, Japan, etc. Uh, good afternoon. So basically what we made is Android application which is meant for children with speech impairment. So such kind of children include cerebral palsy, autism, Down syndrome. It can be used for adults who have lost their speech uh, after a stroke. So basically the application is like a speech generating device that can speak out whatever the icons or the images the child click and then the caregiver can understand what the child wants. As part of our summer un undergraduate research project, we aim to design a spray ignition system to test a class of fluids or fuels which are used in rocket fuel. Also, we designed a pressure chamber which can uphold a pressure of 60 bar which is used, which is made using stainless steel. Also, we performed experiment which used high speed imaging and a backlight. So, uh, the flight controllers uh, on quadcopters are commercially available. So, you can just plug it in and uh, fly a quadcopter. So, uh, in this ITSP project, we tried to build our own flight controller completely out of scratch and we used an Arduino uh, microcontroller as a as the complete uh, brain of the uh, CPU of the flight controller and used various sensors such as gyroscopes and accelerometers and we also tried to enhance the stability of the quadcopter uh, by implementing mathematical algorithms and functions such as specifically in this project we used Kerman filter okay, which is a uh, mathematical iteration which is used to clean the sensor data and make the flight of the quadcopter more stable. So basically uh, for a quadcopter to operate we need to measure the angles perfectly more accurately. So the more accurate we can measure the angles the more stable the flight will be. So the sensors which measure the angle are very noisy because of vibrations coming from the motors and uh, air, uh, air defenses. So we use this mathematical filter to clean the data of the sensors.